Hello Tubians. In this video I'll try and explain how Bedini works exactly. Uh, first I'll start with a circuit. Once again this is the circuit. You've got the trigger coil on this side, the power coil on this side. This is by feeler coil wound here that drives the motor. Now John uh, was saying in the interview um, that well how basically do you charge a 12 volts with 12 volts uh, without a transformer and I always thought well there's a transformer right here you've got a um, a thinner wire and a thicker wire powers it so the thinner wire picks it up and uh, converts the voltage to a higher voltage but I was wrong the whole left side of it it is just the trigger it does not have to do um, with the power recovery at all so all of the power recovery happens here so I can forget about all this and replicate just this without the wheel without the motor just to explain to you how it works um, this is the setup we've got here looks a little complicated but uh, it's very simple I'll just take you step by step first we're gonna concentrate on the primary circuit this is the primary battery that the wires go through the lamp just all in series through the lamp through a switch here just on and off switch through a coil and comes back to the battery that's all it is that's all you have to, to know right now so when I press on this button the lamp goes on and off that's it very simple now how do we connect the secondary battery this is the secondary battery of ours that we're going to be charging it's just made up of eight alkaline batteries which by the way you can recharge with the Bedini circuit but do it at your own risk um, it's connected very simply the minus of the charging battery goes straight to the plus. Yeah, I done a um, shortcut gone to the plus of the coil, but you can go all the way to the plus. It doesn't really matter. It's just easier this way. I wanted the power to come from the coil straight into the battery. Okay, so the minus connects to the plus of the coil, and the plus connects to the minus of the coil. Very simply, but. For the plus, you have to actually put a diode only to allow a plus charge to go into the plus electrode. Because if you don't put that diode, you just shorten out a battery and you've got yourself a um, leaking acid everywhere. So don't forget the diode, don't forget to put it the right way. If you put it the wrong way once again, you've shortened out, shortened out your battery, and you've got um, you've got problems there. So uh, a diode. To those of you that don't know, basically there's a line here on the diode. So keep in mind where there's a line, minus can go this way, but cannot go this way. Okay. So if you you want minus here plus here then you shorten out the battery you do this way uh, nothing will happen basically it will only allow positive charges to go into positive terminal it won't allow the positive charges to go out so that's why it's essential that you have that, that diode okay so this is our setup very very simple um, I hope you can see the secondary um, a multimeter there it shows 1131 so we'll start clicking at it Oops, sorry and um, of course since the lamp is very very small in size and I can't click as fast as perhaps a, a relay can click or uh, perhaps a 555 time or any mortar for, for that matter but just to illustrate the point um, and here you can see the battery already wants to turn over to 11.32 and this is how the Bedini works basically what happens because we don't have a bifilar coil here, it's just one wire coil. What happens is <coughs> when you put 
current through the coil the current becomes magnetic and this is where the self induction comes about when that magnetism goes through the coil there's a very 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 fast change in magnetic field uh, through the coil so what happens is the coil tries to induce uh, current to go the other way and this is where the self induction comes about this is where you resist yourself if the frequency is high enough you won't be able to put any current through the coil because the coil will generate enough current to shut you down to cancel whatever you try and put through if the quip frequency is fast enough but because here the frequency is very slow well uh, you, you don't see it at all so um, this is where the self induction comes so when the coil is magnetized and I switch the the coil off once again there's this magnetic collapse the magnetic field wants to go out of the coil uh, very very fast magnetic field change within the coil it induces electricity going in the opposite direction and this is what we're recovering with a secondary battery basically so it's very very simple to understand play around with it it's extremely simple to replicate you you need only a couple of things here uh, so um, and you can put it on any motor and recover any power that you use with uh, with a pulse system you just put a coil in series and there you go you've recovered uh, most of your power um, to illustrate that as well I've got um, just a, a neon bulb to show you how it works and all I'll do is I'll disconnect one of the termi uh, uh, terminals of the battery connect it to the light and put the other terminal on it okay and if I'll click right now you'll see the light bulb turning on and off and that's that recovered back EMF goes through the neon bulb and you need quite a bit of voltage to actually make it light and that's how you manage to recover a 12 volt battery with 12 volts because when it comes out of the coil the magnetic field change so fast that the voltage is much much higher than 12 volts I hope it was um, fairly clear what I've explained if not just ask questions post comments and uh, rate please um, we'll see you next time thanks for watching